Welcome back to another Long Way Home episode, everyone. Today we are in person here at EICMA 2021, one of the biggest motorcycle shows on the planet. It was unfortunately not held last year, so uh, everybody got a bit upset. But this year, we're going to come check out everything that is new in the motorcycling world. And what better way to start the show off with uh, two new surprises from MV Augusta. They're 9.5 Lucky Explorer and behind it the smaller 5.5 Lucky Explorer. Starting off the engine, you've got a 931cc triple engine. This puts out 123 horsepower at 10,000 RPM, so it's a very high revving engine. It's quite sporty and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially on an adventure bike. I really think we need more triples on adventure bikes because they are fun. Well, a lot more fun than twins. Newton meters, we're looking at 102 Newton meters at 7,000 RPMs. Now, MV Augusta seems to have pretty much thrown everything on this bike, so they want this to be their flagship adventure bike. Suspension-wise, you're looking at huge 50mm forks on the front, fully electronically adjustable, same on the rear, with a 220mm travel, and on the rear, we've got 210mm travel, which is also fully electronically adjustable. The Italians didn't skimp out on brakes either. We're looking at 320 millimeter discs with Brembo calipers. And as I said, this is a, this is a prototype model. So if you have fallen in love already with, this, uh, with these disc covers, they're probably not gonna make it on the production uh, version. Now, one of the interesting things MV Augusta put on this bike is what they call, and I can never remember this, a cyborg, you heard that right, cyborg, like a robot, electro-actuated gearbox, basically an automatic gearbox. If you're not into automated gearboxes on bikes, don't worry, this will be an optional on it, but uh, from what we've learned from Honda is that a lot of you actually like these DCT gearboxes, or cyborg electro-actuated. Nothing yet is mentioned about the electronics. All we can see up front is a very bright and very large TFT display. Full color, but we don't know what, uh, what electronics will be on the bike. My bet will be on absolutely everything because MV Augusta wants this to be their flagship adventure bike. Moving on to MV Augusta's smaller 5.5 Lucky Explorer. This will be more of their price-oriented mid-adventure bike. So you're not gonna see things like fully electronically adjustable suspension or their crazy, beautiful cyborg automatic transmission on it. However, it's still not a budget bike. You're still gonna see things like tubeless tires, Brembo brakes. Engine-wise, it's a 554 centimeter two-cylinder engine. It manages to put out about 48 horsepower at 7,500 RPM, so it's not going to be as sporty as its bigger brother, and 51 Newton meters of torque. Suspension-wise, on the front, you're looking at 43 millimeters KYB forks. Uh, they are adjustable, but manually, and they have 135 millimeters of travel. Not a lot of travel there. On the spec sheet, both of these bikes come in at 220 kilograms, which bodes very well for the 9.5, but not really that well for the 5.5. 48 horsepower, you're looking at uh, 220 kilograms. It's going to be quite a heavy bike. But at the same time, I'm very excited about both of them. I mean, come on, more choice in the adventure world is, uh, is great. All right, the uh, larger 9.5 is only going to be available in December 2023, but the smaller 5.5 should be on dealership uh, showrooms in uh, December of 2022, basically next year. Um, I'm sure I haven't covered anything. I've taken a lot of photos. We've taken a lot of other video. If there's anything else you want to know about it, make sure you post your question in the comment section below and uh, I'll answer you there. 